Generative artificial intelligence is about to change the film industry forever. Today there were a few interesting tweets from Yosha Bach, an artificial intelligence expert on this matter that I'd like to share with you all. First, generative AI is going to be a magnitudes larger industry than Hollywood and its greatest threat. Hollywood did not see it coming, but it will soon wake up and begin to fight generative AI for its life. Second, expect a war of big, primitive, linear, handmade movies against AI models. With the advent of the diffusion models, such as DALI, Midjourney, and Stable Diffusion, it is now getting to the point where it is possible to create a movie that looks like it was made for millions of dollars for basically the cost of electricity. Now first off I want to open with I'm going to feel very bad for all of the people in the industry, all the great craftspeople that will be losing their job because of this. And I do agree that there probably will be a big backlash against this and a lot of propaganda in which people will try to convince you that you're not a real artist, you're not a real filmmaker if you use generative AI. Now. I'll say up front, I prefer working with people. I prefer working with my hands. I prefer practical special effects. Um, I prefer working on real sets using real lighting. Anybody that's seen uh, my work, you go back to the earliest videos such as In the Penal Colony and The Judgment, and especially The Burrow, which was to completely handmade as a stop motion video. I love um, practical special effects in live action and stop motion. I would like to work that way. However, it's just not in the cards. It's too expensive. And the types of films that I want to make are, I mean, let's put it this way, even Martin Scorsese, uh, Steven Spielberg, Ridley Scott, people like that are starting to have trouble financing movies if they're not a superhero movie, or if they're not a sequel, or a remake, or a franchise film. So yes, I feel very bad for all the people in the industry that will be losing their job in the coming years. It's going to happen, unfortunately. And it is very sad, and it's not something to make light of. As for the upside, I believe that there's an opportunity for the re-emergence of an auteur movement. According to auteur theory, the idea is that the auteur is somebody that is a filmmaker that is also the author of the film, that there's some kind of singular vision behind the film that is their signature or stamp, as it were. Now, the interesting thing about being an auteur is, of course, it doesn't have to be good. Right? It doesn't have to be a great filmmaker that's an auteur. On the one hand, you have people like uh, Stanley Kubrick, um, Federico Fellini, Akira Kurosawa. And then on the other side, you have people like Coleman Francis, Ed Wood, Neil Breen. These people are all auteurs, and they have varying degrees of success and varying degrees of vision. However, what binds them all is that there is a singular vision, and it is the stamp of their work. I believe that the diffusion models have opened up a new door for people that would not be auteurs were it not for this technology. Perhaps they lacked certain social skills needed, or their vision was just beyond their grasp. Um, this happens, of course. And the benefit of being a painter or a novelist, not to say that novelists and painters are um, lesser artists in any way, not at all, but it is easier for them in the sense that the painter just needs to buy canvas and paint. For the novelist, you can have a pen and a paper and you can write a novel. But for a filmmaker, uh, especially if you're somebody with high concept ideas, it's impossible or very, very, very hard, very almost impossible these days. And this is being changed. So I just wanted to get ahead of this and talk about this for a moment and say there will be a backlash against this, and it's an understandable backlash. However, I think that you can look beyond the backlash. I'd like to see this as an opportunity for the reemergence of the auteur idea. And if you agree with me, please um, comment in the section below. Uh, tell me whether you agree, whether you disagree. I think, though, that this will open up a massive shakeup of the film industry and probably for the better in many ways because it needed a shakeup. And the next shakeup, of course, will be when artificial general intelligence gains agency over its own prompts and directs its own works and perhaps its aesthetics will not be for us. But that's another discussion for another time. I hope you got something out of this video. I just want to let all my subscribers know that I'm working on a new project. 
Um, this one's going to take a little longer because this one has a screenplay. It's not just purely experimental. I have to work with actors. I do have a set. I will be integrating this new technology into the piece. And it will be released as soon as I can get it done. But if you don't see any activity from this channel for a little bit, just know that that's what I'm working on. I mean, it may be uh, that I'll come out with more little experimental pieces if inspiration strikes. And uh, that's all I wanted to really talk about today. So that's it. Thank you for watching. The algorithm has decreed that all humans are required to share, like, and subscribe.